Hi, I'm Shafraz from IdeaMart team. Today I'm going to show you how you can start building the first Idea Pro application by using IdeaMart platform. So this particular tutorial is going to be in five segments. So let's see what are the five segments are. First part of the segment will be explaining you how you can start building a first SMS, a simple PHP based SMS application and I have already coded the application you can download from this particular link which I'll be mentioning in the description as well. In the second part of the application I'll be explaining to you how you can start creating an IdeaMart account and requesting for a hosting space which will be provided by IdeaMart team for free of charge. The, in the third part I'll be explaining you how you can upload the built PHP script to the hosting space and in fourth, I'll be explaining you how you can provision or register your application with the IdeaMart platform so that you can make use of the SMS and the subscription APIs. In the fifth and the final step, I'll be explaining you how you can test the application in active production mode. So let's start off with the programming. So first, let's go to the link which I have mentioned here. So I am in the github link now. So from here what you need to do is you need to download the lib.zip file and sms.php file. So I have downloaded two files and I have put that into a separate folder and if you can see the lib.zip file and the sms.php file. sms.php file is going to be the application which is going to do the activities related to this particular uh, code sample. So in this lib for lib.zip, let's what we'll do is we'll open it up and extract the content inside. So I have extracted the content, and if you go inside here, you see that there are few lbs.php, log.php. Likewise, there are many PHP files, but in this particular application, I'll be using SMS dot SMS receiver, SMS sender, and SMS service exception files only to explain you how the code sample is going to work. So let's go back to the code sample and let's open the code sample up. So in this code sample, I have opened it up already. Now this particular code sample is go what is going to do is that basically it will receive it it will allow a user to subscribe to your application once the user has been subscribed the user can send out an sms to the application and the application will receive it and this application will send out a predefined message to the subscriber back and also this particular code sample will explain you how you can send out a broadcast message to all the subscribers who have subscribed to your application so let me start off by explaining line by line. Uh, so first of all, we need to set up the error log. And here I am a fan of uh, Star Wars. Since that I have used, I'll be I'll be creating an application related to Jedi. So uh, so now so I have mentioned that as the error logs name and include you need to include these two files which are mentioned in the lib lib folder those were available so i have included those in this particular code sample and and this is to make sure we are in the correct time zone and these three areas are very crucial and i'll show you how you need, need to fill these up these two particular password and application id you will get those once you have provisioned the application or registered the application with idea pro i'll be showing that in a future tutorial of the same tutorial series and server url let's take how you let's go let's go and take the server url first first you, what you need to do you need to go to ideamart.lk and then go to products and go to idea pro section And once you go idea pro section, you see that SMS API is available. Read more. 
and here you see that there are send services so this is this url needs to be used when you are using the simulator in active production or if you are going to use this particular application in active production mode or in uh, production mode you need to use this particular url so let me copy that i'll go back to my code sample and i'll be pasting here So I have inserted the so URL here. So now in this part, there is a try catch that I have mentioned. And what happens here is that when someone send an SMS, that will be received by the IDMR platform. And this IDMR platform, how the communication happens with the platform and your application is that that's through the JSON uh, mechanism. So let's see what sort of information that will receive when someone send out an sms let's go back to the tutorial the request here so now these are the these are the information that will receive from the request or the send message so you will receive the message that person has sent the destination address or the the telephone number of this particular person who sending the sms please mind that we will not be exposing the telephone number because that is violation of privacy so we won't be exposing this number what we'll do is from the platform itself we'll be encoding or hashing this particular number and also we'll be sending you the password and the application id so if you go down below in this tutorial you see you will see the full full json that you are receiving from the request of the user so let's go back to the code sample so i'll be getting those and to sms sender so what i'm doing uh, doing is here i am initializing a new object and assigned to a variable and here what i need to pass is the server url which i uh, mentioned above application id application password so I'll be getting these once I have provisioned the application. So now what I'm doing is the content that I'm getting, I'll be exploding or dividing the content which I'm getting from this particular content field into two segments. First segment is the key. Second one is the, the message that I have received. Key is the, key is the content where you send out talk to a particular sms say for an example uh, if i am sending out an application say serious superstar i'll be using the keyword as ss so if that the case i'll have to separate that with the or uh, message which has been sent out by the user we'll see that when we are running the active production i'm meaning running the application in active production mode so now we have the key and the actual message okay now if you can see i have mentioned an if and else clause here so in if and else in first if what i'm trying to do is to send get the admin to send out broadcast messages to the users who have got subscribed to send out that i'm um, if the subscribe the admin has sent out say jedi space go and the rest of the message needs to be broken down and I have taken that and I'll be talking to the broadcast message method and inside the broadcast mes mes message method I'll be passing the message I have re got from here and passing that here and else if some user send out an SMS what I'm going to do is I'll be inserting that also into the error log and then send out a default message may the face force be with you jedi master and append the <coughs> name of the particular user uh, when the user is sending out an sms the user can send jedi space the name of that person so that this particular name will be appended here and send out to the address the destination address which you will be receiving from the 
JSON. So I'll be passing that here. And then finally, I'll be ending the try catch clause with a catch. And here, if you can see, this is the third class or the file that I have used here. If there are any service exception that will receive it. And I'll be mentioning that in the error log as well. So that's the end of first part of the tutorial. So now let's move on to the second part of the tutorial where I'll be talking to you about how you can create an IDMR account and also how you can request for a IDMR porting.